so much better with my keys. I know. We're in St Maria Greta Primary School in the east end of Glasgow in Scotland. Once a week we have a, a family learning programme where the families come together. They learn how to, to play, interact, how to cook meals on a budget, uh, how to talk about uh, different issues within their life such as welfare issues, uh, how to claim what they're entitled to from, from the government. Yeah, so there's lots of things that they do, they're a social network for each other. If, if there's something going on in their life, the others will be there for them uh, and they'll support each other. We do like colouring, games, cooking. We like to go outside and go in the gym hall sometimes. In my class, we're making videos for visitors, so we needed to take our time, like you're making this. We need to take our time making our own and edit them with music and titles. We're cooking and like colouring in and making food and all that. So we get fed. Poverty is the most serious human rights issue facing children across Europe. The significant numbers of children directly experiencing poverty is very high and it's growing, particularly in some of the rich countries in Europe, which was a hugely concerning human rights issue. Um, it affects children's right to, to health care, and particularly impacting on their mental health, um, but also impacting directly on rights to education and rights to socialisation, and has lifelong impacts on children. The difference between the rich and the poor is massive. So the Scottish Government give the, the schools uh, extra money to each individual school. Uh, it's, called, it's called the Attainment Challenge Fund. And they're hopefully trying to balance that between the rich and poor. It's really important for children to learn that uh, poverty is something that they can get out of by hopefully attaining within school, by getting qualifications, their qualifications will then lead on to uh, further things such as a good, well-paid job. I like hanging out with friends and helping cook. The thing that makes me happy is when, um, when I'm playing. I like dancing and I like gymnastics. Or, or when, when I'm reading a book. And I like football. That's that. <laughs> It's hugely important that families are right at the heart of how we tackle poverty. When we take a rights-based approach, um, it includes the, the important part of participation. And we know that the best way to ensure that children's rights are fully respected is to involve not just children, but also their families. Northeast campus. It's a new school that's been built here in Dundee. Uh, it's actually the amalgamation of two Catholic primary schools and a Protestant primary school, or non denational What we're doing today is we're providing after-school club where uh, some of the children can come after school and receive extra support and leisure opportunities while at the same time providing a two-course hot evening meal. St Francis sits um, in, a, in an area of, of, of highly, high deprivation. In terms of the pupil equity funding, we receive a substantial amount of money each year. 
So it is about making sure that none of my children are at risk of missing out. All of my parents, regardless of their background, have high aspirations for their children. They want their children to do well. And my job of the, as the head teacher of the school is to make sure that I deliver that for them, but more importantly, deliver that for the children who walk in the door every day. Jim, I like uh, playing like about with the scooters, like cops and robbers, and then ICT, I like playing some dog. I really like to arts and crafts, but I like the scooters best. I like when my family's here because I can share stuff with them. As Children's Commissioner, I, I work with a group of 43 Children's Commissioners from across Europe. And one of our big roles is to try and bridge the connection between the international legal framework and the experience in our countries. And the Council of Europe um, has made a number of very significant interventions in, in Scotland on things like age of criminal responsibility and physical punishment. Um, and also, I think that the ability to, to comment on, on economic social rights is really important in terms of providing that, that leadership. Um, I think the, the monitoring process as well, the fact that a government knows that it will be held to accounts in an international forum can be very motivating. The European Social Charter sets out a wide range of provisions imposing obligations. These are legally binding uh, duties on states under international law, requiring states to take steps to address different aspects of children's rights and the rights of others, indeed, that have implications for child poverty. So how uh, can our recommendations help states address child poverty? Well, our recommendations are absolutely based on our understanding of the challenges that particular states face. So it's not cloud cuckoo, this is what we would love to see in an ideal world. It's very much looking at what a state has told us, the situation in a state and the position of people in poverty in the state. We highlight where states have done well, we highlight where states have done not so well, and states are if they look at our recommendations, they read them, they can, t they can feed those recommendations back into their anti-policy strategies um, and they can make them stronger and more rights compliant. So that's how our conclusions can help.